तो जनाब हम रात को निकले हैं डेढ़ बजे और इतनी कोई खास ड्राइव नहीं हुई क्योंकि हम थके हुए थे काफी तो हम एक रेस्ट एरिया में क्लाम फॉल्स पे खैर अभी हम रीनो एंटर होने वाले हैं नाश्ता नहीं किया अभी तक जरा तो फिर देखें लेक टाको मेरे ख्याल से नाश्ता वाश्ता करके जरा America, the land of opportunity for corporations, built on the backs of slaves and countless genocides around the globe. This country is none like any other. Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate, but for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my 8 years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips, and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back with more than a month on the road. An experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Carnival Doge boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on earth. from bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks from alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts our Karnavadosh Kafla and tag along for a journey of a lifetime the great american road trip getting ready for a trip across the entire US. We'll be on the roads for around a month, going through more than 30 states. Some of these states are just a short stop along the way, but most of the interesting ones are our destinations. This is one of the most expensive trips we've ever done, and it took weeks of planning before we could set off. The slightest deviation from the itinerary could result in adding another $1000 onto the budget since we're covering an insane distance, more than 15,000 miles. That's more than 24,000 kilometers for the rest of the world. Gas prices vary from state to state and keeping track of the expenses is crucial. We're spending close to $5,000 just on fuel alone, around 3,000 on hotel reservations, another 3,000 for parking, activities, souvenirs, car service and miscellaneous expenses, and another 3 to 4,000 on food. Roughly 14 to 15 grand for this trip and this was as budgeted as possible. Unfortunately, later on in the trip we'll make a few mistakes and this number is about to go way higher. Yes, we need a quick stop at Winco before getting on the road. The gas stations along the way have overpriced items, so we're getting a few essentials, some snacks, paper towels, and of course, since we're in the uncivilized west where the days aren't common yet, a 24 pack of water bottles that will go into our hydro flask and be refilled at the rest areas to be used as lotus. going in the FJ. This car has a special place in my heart. For this trip, it's all stock, but over the years I modded it to be able to conquer any terrain and it's gone across 42 states with me. Some of my fondest memories of the US are with this car. If we went on a more fuel efficient car with one or two more people, it would have been a lot cheaper for us. But the FJ is literally a brick that only seats two, so it's just me and Chimaji on this trip. The journey begins in Oregon. The plan is to go south and then head east going through all the southern states, then make our way up the east coast and then go west going through all the northern states until we arrive back in Oregon. It's a 9 hour drive from Corvallis to South Lake Tahoe. We thought we'd get a head start on the trip and we drove through the night to get as close as possible before stopping at a rest area and passing out. Early morning we crossed the state line into California. Now, it's officially day 1 of our trip. Yeah, no budget. 
Our first stop in California is for gas and to clean the box off the windshield. We still have a few hours ahead of us before we get to our hotel in Lake Tahoe. All that late night driving has already taken us home. Guys, now we have to get out of the night at 8 There's a pro tip for you guys that want to do these ridiculously long road trips. One I wish I would have followed this time. Usually I work out for a few months and put on some muscle mass before these long road trips. I'm a skinny guy with a high metabolism, so these trips take a huge toll on me physically. Last trip, I lost 20 pounds. You're in a seated position for eight to 10 hours a day, sometimes more. So bulking up before is a good idea, and it's nice to stretch along the way. Unfortunately, this time we left immediately after exams, so I hadn't been in the gym for weeks. It's day one, and my back was already killing me. We have a whole month on the road ahead of us, so let's see how that goes. Anyway, Lake Tahoe is on the border of California and Nevada. Reno is directly in our path, so we stopped there for burgers at in and out It was a quick stop, so we forgot to make a video. So here's this stock footage of some Chinese guy eating what looks like a raw fucking duck leg. This is still my favorite place in the lower 48 states, and no US tour through the states is complete without a stop here. It's the perfect mix of city and nature, and it's an incredible example of sustainable tourism and development. First things first, we have to check into our hotel and unload the FJ. We've just arrived in Lake Tahoe. We arrived actually quite late. We were supposed to be here at 10 a.m. It's after two, almost three. We're just about to check into our hotel and then head straight to the beach. As I said before, this is a very budgeted trip, so our stays aren't too fancy. They're not flea bag motels either. We only need clean beds to sleep in, and that's exactly what we've looked. We have the whole day ahead of us to explore Tahoe, and most of the day tomorrow before heading out to our next destination. So hit that subscribe button, because the adventure continues in the next video. Oh, you're gonna make that left. You're not going to Incline Village. You're just gonna go to Sand Harbor and make a left, uh, yeah, left hand turn into it. Okay? okay. Um, and yes, it will be busy and what, it will have a long run. What do you think is gonna be busy out this time? We're both gonna be busy. 